Hi there. Today I thought I would show you how to customize Ubuntu Mate 1710 with the Redmond panel. Uh, there are many other ways to configure uh, Ubuntu Mate. Uh, however, I thought I would do the window-esque type of uh, Ubuntu Mate with the panel at the bottom uh, with similar types of icons in the panel. Uh, both left and right, and then a, a tweaks that I personally used for my uh, own needs or interests. And I'll show you, try to show you everything I've done here. Um, first thing I did was change the uh, default pan, uh, menu with the Brisk menu. Um, the Redmond panel comes with a mint-like panel and I prefer having the brisk menu. It just seems more efficient to get where you want to go. And uh, it, it's just laid out quite nicely. Um, so I switched that and how to switch that, you would uh, right click on the panel, uh, go to add to panel, and you'll notice that you have the brisk menu option to add right here. And you would just you know click on it, click add, and it'll populate, I believe, either to the left or at least on this panel. And then you would essentially move it to the to the end. Uh, or however, wherever you want it, you could even move it to the right of the panel. Um, but I'm not going to add it since it's already here. Um, I'm going to try to show you a little bit. If I say I wanted to remove it, you would have to uh, unlock it first. And then you could click Remove. Uh, there are instances where you need to unlock to remove certain items and other times you can still remove them without locking and you'll just have to play with this and either with a lock or unlock fashion uh, find out whether you can actually remove the particular item of interest. Um, and then uh, there are other items that if they're already locked you may not be able to manu uh, move these other um, icons uh, ahead of it or behind it. So you'll have to make sure that each item is unlocked if you want to move the particular item ahead of it. Um, but my, my suggestion is either read the help uh, menu, Google uh, additional help. Uh, I'm just showing you kind of a quick uh, reference to what I've done here. Um, let's see what else did I want to show you. Um, I also, what I did here, I put the uh, plank um, panel off to the left. And the reason for that, um, I didn't, I, since this is a smaller, uh, the, the panel is limited with how many applications I can have uh, for quick access. I just made the addendum of adding the additional uh, applications that I wanted and I placed them in the panel off to the left. And I'll show you how I did that, you would uh, hit control, the control key, right click with your mouse, left click panel or preferences. Uh, you'll notice I'm using the Ubuntu Mate theme. Um, I left uh, position is left, of course, here. And the alignment end uh, puts it towards the bottom corner, as you can notice here. If I go ahead and I'll put it in uh, the center, I'll have to close this to show you, and now it's been raised towards the center, but I want it accessible right in the corner, and so that's why I placed it down in the pocket there. Uh, let me go back in, so control, right click, left click, preference, and I'm gonna change it back to end. Um, also the size of the icons you can also adjust here in plank the behavior um i don't know if this is the default or not but anyway it's in auto hide most things i left the same uh, dockets these are the particular items you can add in the uh, plank uh, panel and the only one i added was uh, clippy uh, for a clipboard uh, clipboard access so um, let me close this. And then um, off to the far right, I just created an additional panel of all the uh, 
items that I particularly use on a frequent basis, um, I wanted quick access to, but I don't need to get to them as often as the items down in the bottom left or to the far left here. So, uh, but I still wanted quick access to them. So, and how to create this panel, it's pretty basic. You just right click on the, on the main panel, um, click new panel, um, and well, I'll give a little demo. demo. So if I click, click new panel, it'll bring it to the top and you'd right click on that panel. You'd go to uh, left click properties and then you would uh, move it either to the top or whatever option of left, right or bottom that you wish. And um, let me uh, close this. Let me remove it. Um, delete this panel. Anyway, and then this is how I got the panel here. And then when you want to add items in the panel, uh, please be aware that you have to get to the very edge of the panel, either at the top or at the bottom, and then right click. This gives you the, the ability to go into properties and uh, change the width. Um, and if you, th this length is compressed for the fact that it's in, um, Notice I don't have expand uh, check marked. If I click expand, it expands to the full length. And I don't particularly want that, so I just uncheck it. It gives it a condensed fashion and leaves these gaps, which I prefer. So um, also it's on auto hide. And let's see, the background is default. Right now I'm using the system theme, which gives it this particular um, color that I'm using um, and excuse me here <coughs> um, anyway so once you get your panel have it on a hide you've got it set there that's done uh, the default Redmond panel gives you the um, oh it, it shows you when a volume is mounted I have a uh, uh, this is a dual boot with another Linux OS on uh, the other partition. So it's actually showing the, the other uh, partition right here as being mounted. And actually you can access it as well um, if you want to. Um, you first mount it, then you can open it, and then you would go into home and that leads you into the other operating system. Uh, if they're, I think they both have to be Ubuntu for you not to have to um, uh, um, require a password. Um, but if you use other OSs, you most likely will be required to use uh, to access it uh, with your own password. Um, let's see what else. I added the uh, show all windows uh, um, little applet here, and I added a screenshot here. These are, of course, right click, uh, add to panel. Um, they're in here, uh, these particular apps. Uh, but I believe there might be a difference. Th this screenshot might be different than the one that's in the brisk menu. You'll have to experiment. If, one, if, if you notice one different than the other, then by all means, try using the other one. Um, and then if you want to add any of these items, you can also or let me show you, it's like say you want to add it to this panel or even this panel, you can go into your brisk menu. Uh, let's just do, um, well, say like dead beef. You can just left click, drag, and let go. And there's how you can add it to the panel or to this panel, whatever panel you want. And it's not locked. Uh, yet or anything. Uh, now I'm just going to remove it because I was just showing you, giving you an example. Um, let's see what a, a feature, a neat little feature of Mate is that you can color your folders. Um, and I also might suggest that if you don't notice the change right away, reboot, uh, particularly if it's a link. Um, I'll, I'll show you um, and you might say, okay, what is it? Well, a link is just what it says, but it links the, the main folder. I'll just click on it. Uh, let me go into um, here, music. 
Okay, ra this radio file, which has my internet radio stations in it, is um, basically you would just right click here, make link. I'll click on it so it'll just make another link. And so you have the link here, and then you can right click, cut, and paste it on the desktop if you want. Um, but uh, just be aware that if you do, ch uh, notice it didn't change the, didn't follow the color change when you did that. So you'll have to change it individually uh, to uh, duplicate the color. Let me first delete this, um, or I'll move it to trash. Let me close that out. So <clears throat> this, the only way that I made this yellow was just once you have the link out here, it would still be blue. You'd right click, change the color, but I believe you'll have to log in, log out for it to render the color change with a link. Um, but what's handy about color uh, folders in particular is uh, easy, quick access to discerning what you're clicking at, particularly if you have different colors. Uh, so it's, I find it functional. It is cosmetic, but it is truly functional as well. Um, what else can I show you? Um, of course, you can always change your wallpaper. Paper that's simple. Oh, and I also use the breeze icon theme uh, or set icon set uh, for the fact that um, I just like the way it looks. It, it has a very clean look, and I prefer it over the mate icon theme. So um, I had to install that through. Um, Actually, I also installed, um, let's see if I go into Control Center, maybe that'll show you. Subnatic uh, Package Matter, I installed that, and from there I installed the, um, the Breeze icon theme, uh, or icons. Um, but, of course, you can install other icon themes, you can in install uh, various types of other themes. Uh, it, it, it just depends on what you're what you want to do um, but I guess that's all I can show you for now um, this was oh Anna to uh, change your type of panel I guess I better show you that uh, here are, these are um, this is a uh, menu well let me go in here first right click on the panel left click uh, add to panel uh, I forget the terminology here I guess these are what you call panel applets. And what I did was add a, um, so we can find it here. It is the menu bar applet. And that menu bar applet is this, these two uh, items, places and system. And essentially this duplicates what's in, what's in your brisk menu, just laid out differently. Um, but it's, it, it, it's some redundancy, but it's also a question of efficiency and accessibility for your needs. So here are recent documents. Uh, then in the system, I wanted to show you uh, under, um, excuse me here, <coughs> uh, go under uh, preferences, look and feel, uh, Mate tweak. Um, now, I'll, I'll try to just go along here with what I'm seeing. Um, notice how it says show desktop icons. That's when you can show all of them on your desktop here. If you find this too messy, you don't like this, just uncheck that. You'll have a clean desktop, which many people may prefer. Of course, you can add your own computer uh, folder, home folder, trash, so on. I only wanted to show the desktop icons and mounted volumes and mounted volumes is when you plug in a USB drive or show or any type of additional drive that is mounted it will show on the desktop as well as in your panel here so um, that's about all I wanted to show you um, you can also make some uh, performance changes here under Windows. Let me see, there was also something in pa panels. You can enable a pull down terminal. Um, you just really have to go, there's many places to look to, to make changes. Uh, my recommendation is doing, just incrementally making changes 
uh, so you can discern what you like or don't like. Um, and uh, from, from that point, you're able to, to learn and see what each item does. Um, anyway, that's all I wanted to show you. Uh, thanks for watching and in, enjoy Linux. There's a lot to offer here. Uh, thanks for watching.